from their lotus feet of the instructions emanating from their lotus-like mouths. Even a little contact with any one of these three substances can bring all benefit to the practitioner. So Narada did not, did not uh, spend years and years as a brahmachari in the ashram serving. It was just four months in the rainy season, and I think after that some time in the autumn season, maybe four, five, six months. And by taking their prasad and by hearing their harikata, because what happened? Sakam prasangam mamavirya samvido, manti hikarna rasayana kata, tadrasana rasu pavarga vartmani, shadha rapir bhakti anu pramishtiti. In the association of devotees, we hear about the all potent activities, name, form, qualities, and pastimes of the Supreme Lord. And those descriptions are very, very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. So by hearing the Harikata from the sages, Nard is a young boy, he quickly progressed from Shraga, Sarusanga, Bhajanatriya, Anartanaviti, Nishta, Ruchi, Ashakti, and he eventually came, he will describe how he even came to the stage of Bhav. So the sages, they took their leave of his mother and him, and they went on their way to versing the globe, teaching. At that time, shortly after that, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Before they left, <laughs> important point, before the Bhakti Vedantas left, they also initiated, yeah, Satyasan for Kumaras. So they gave him mantra, fiction mantra, and gave him some instructions on how to practice bhakti. Shortly after that, his mother died, was bitten by a snake. And in his family, it was only him, only one person. His mother was very attached to him. So when his mother left, he was feeling that there's nothing left in this world, and he left, even though he was a small boy, he also left his home and started to walk and travel and walk through cities, towns, villages, forests, everywhere, practicing what he had heard from these sages. By practicing bhakti in this way, having taken the association of the sadhus and practicing, Sometimes, oh, and his heart was completely completely purified, and at once he took the vision of the person of Narayan. Mm -hmm. And at once, as a flash, he disappeared. And then, the aerial file came, now by this body you cannot see me. And 
Go on to the world, always chanting name with Dina for Brahma, Siprisar, and glorifying. And thus, when time you will come, car will come, you will keep your feet on the head of grace, and thus you will have transcendental form and then you can travel everywhere and preach my uh, my mission. Purubi, Purichandra, Radhika, Tadani, Krishna, Krishna, Rakta, Tadavakta, Namo, Namaha. So, first of all, I have to invite some sisters to the Guru Dev, Sanyasis, Ramachari, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. The mantra given by the supreme, by the Guru Dev, by the spiritual master is non different than the Supreme Lord. So the Supreme Lord appears in the form of mantra. Therefore, we only have to chant it purely without offense, with prema, then we can see the istadev of the mantra. The syllables of the mantra reveal itself to us. No need so much speculation, guesswork, imagination. Mantra will reveal itself to us directly. So when the soldier prays by chanting that mantra for one second, now it only had Jashan of the Supreme Lord, not I. Like a flash of lightning. Spurti. A temporary manifestation in the heart. Then he disappeared. Then Nard became mad, weeping, Oh Lord, come back! Oh Lord, come back! He tried to chant, but his mind was reeling. I cannot see that Lord. Then voice came, Nara, you cannot see me again in this life. Because not completely matured in bhakti. Therefore, the Lord gave him a momentary vision to increase his greed and eagerness. Just like when you take a man- an unripe mango or avocado and you put it in a hot place, it becomes ripe. Therefore, by feelings, by feelings of separation, our devotion will mature. Sometimes the Guru manifests to us, then he disappears. Why? To increase our greed. So Nara had spent the rest of his life in separation, chanting the glories of the Lord. So in due course of time, his bhakti became mature. And like a flash of lightning and illumination occurs simultaneously, Narayana gave up the material body and immediately assumed the divine transcendental form. Many people tell us, oh, when you become perfect, you become a zero. 
After liberation, you become one with God. But no. Mukti, Api, Lilanam, Vigraham, Bhagavan, Bajanke. Sri Sankaracharya has written, After liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form and he serves Bhagavan. So we also have a seed of perfection. We have a seed of perfection within us, that is our eternal form, our sarup. And Guru, by the grace of the Guru, that sarup is revealed to the disciple. So Narmuni achieved the mercy of his Gurus and he achieved his sarup siddha. Uh, sarup siddha. Uh, sarup siddha. And that is the form that we see now of Nara, with his Vina always chanting Shima Nara and Nara and Nara. And he's famous in the three worlds as the best of the Vaishnavas. He said, Dhyasadev, he saw two, two things he saw in his meditation. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then now, oh, sorry. Then Vyasa had heard all this story of Narad. He had so much faith in his guru. Therefore, Bhakti Yoga and Manasi Samyak Pranikayamali Apasat Purusam Punam Maya Chathada Pasrayam Yayol Samhavato Jivam Atmanam Sigunatakam Parupay Manati Anatam Chakritam Shadipadyate Vyasadev saw two things. What did he see? First, Narmani blessed him and Bhakti Yoga appeared within his heart. Without becoming Tadakin with Bhakti, you cannot see the Lord or his pastimes. One with Bhakti. Therefore, he immersed his mind in Bhakti Samadhi. Samadhi does not mean to see the white light or to see Sai Baba or anything. Samadhi, you have the same intelligence as your Guru Dev and the Guru Parampara. The same vision comes to you. Therefore, Guru Dev is this is proof without the mercy of Guru, no one can have devotion. Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samad Pranaki. Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samad Pranaki Amal. His mind was completely purified. The Pashat Purusam Purunam, he saw the Supreme Person. And Maya Chitada Pashat. And behind him, in a shamed position, he saw the illusory potency Maya Devi. Maya can never come before the Lord. She always stays behind. All Lila Parikas, all sea past and from birth to everything. He saw that Mother Jasoda was bending Supreme Lord Krishna. He saw in front that Krishna is taking the shoes of his father Nand Baba. On his head. He took Govardhan on his head, on his third finger. And he saw Ras Leela with gopis. And Krishna telling that I cannot repay you gopis. You have left your father, mother, wealth, your shame and everything for me. I cannot do like this. So, by your generosity, you can let me free from that. Free from that, 
But yet I will be always really called. And after that, he saw Brahmargi, Gopi Ghi, and other things. And after Dvarka Gila, Mahabharat Echo, and Krishna departing from this, but whole thing he saw. And then he wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. And then he Because the past times of Krishna are eternal. They are not imaginary or speculation or mythology. But they can only be seen when one is beyond material nature. That is the fact. He saw the spirit soul is actually free from material nature. But because of illusion, he sees himself as part of this world, part of this body. But by accepting this, he can become free from Maya and again engage in the service of Krishna. So everything he saw in his samadhi, he compiled that is called the Srimad Bhagavatam. The Srimad Bhagavatam is four things. Ato Yam Brahma Sutra Nam Bharatato Vininaya Gayatri Bhasya Rukoso Veda Ata Paribhrimata. It is the explanation of the Vedanta. It is the real essence of the Mahabharata. 